Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.16.1. Shaders just came out today in Minecraft 1.16.1 and we're going to be showing you every single step of getting it downloaded, installed, set up. It's all going to be covered in this video. Before you know it, your Minecraft will look like this beautiful screenshot here that we have on our top five shaders pack video here. It's going to look like that before you know it. Shaders are going to allow you to make it happen. First and foremost, though, we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to start an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We love Apex so much that we put our money where our mouth is, and we actually host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com, on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you are looking for a great Minecraft server host that will just be everything you want, Great hardware, great support, everything. Check out Apex, the first link down below. The breakdown, .xyz slash Apex. Start an incredible Apex Minecraft server for you and your friends. But nevertheless, you're here for shaders. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you need to do, though, is get a shaders pack. You can't do anything without a shaders pack. Like, some people say, install Optifine, you don't get shaders. Well, yes, you need to install Optifine. But it doesn't matter if you install Optifine, because you need a shaders pack to install into Optifine. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our shaders packs. Now, in the description down below, the second link down below will take you here. This is our list of five shaders packs for Minecraft. Now, all of these are working in 1.16.1, but Optifine is still in a very early beta, right? For example, some of these are haven't been updated since 1.14, but are being updated. We know they're being updated, but Optifine is still in beta and they're waiting to release them until it's not. However, the 1.14 versions do work. I went through and tested every single one of these before this video, and they do work. Some of them have bugs, some of them have issues, some of them have different things along with them, but Optifine is still in beta. Once Optifine is officially released, those bugs will be quickly resolved, and it will be a very, very awesome party, right? Now, the one that I'm going to be using today that is pretty good, pretty, you know, bug-free, if you will, is going to be this one right here, the Sonic Ether Unbelievable Shaders Pack. Now, again, BSLS shaders, all these do work. Some of them have more bugs than others, but Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders is as bug-free as I could see, and overall, it's going to be a great shaders pack. It's very vibrant, but also kind of dark. It's, it's kind of cool. I like the shaders pack, so we're going to go ahead and on this download page here, on this list page, click on the green download button. That's then going to take you off to a page where you can download this shaders pack. Now, in some cases on the website, it will take you off to a you know different kind of tutorial here that's more specific to this shaders pack and actually shows you how to install it. Once you're there, click on the download button. But anyway, for this, we're going to be downloading it here directly. Again, we got here from just clicking the screen download button under Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. Once you're here, you want to scroll down towards the bottom and you will see this. Seuss renewed, and then you will click that download button there. That will then take us off to where we can agree to their end user license agreement and all that stuff, which obviously we should read. And then click on the download button there. I've actually, have I? Yes, I read this one. Okay, cool. I was just wanted to make sure that we were good there. But yes, we are. Awesome. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And if we look down here in the bottom left, it's already downloaded. Seuss dash renewed is downloaded you actually shouldn't need to save or keep this file it should just download automatically so uh, because these are zip files they download automatically unlike the java files which we're going to have to deal with in a second where you have to save them however on mozilla firefox you may have to save it and if you do it's okay as long as the name of your shaders pack or the abbreviation of your shaders pack is somehow in the title of the download right so it's safe to save or keep the file as long as that is the case now let's go ahead and click on the third link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. Now this is our in-depth tutorial for downloading and installing Optifine. I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Optifine in this video, right? So you don't necessarily need this tutorial, but we always link to it because if you need any issues or if you have any issues or anything, it's going to be covered here, right? So the issues that are going to have are going to be covered in this video, which will be updated to 1.16.1 by the time you get here, but I just recorded that video before I recorded this video. So anyway, long story short, that'll say 1.16.1, and then this text tutorial is already up to date. But nevertheless, if you have any issues, that's where you can get some help. But once you're here, click on this green Download Optifine button. That will then take you off to Optifine's download page. Now, before you freak out and scream in the comments that, no, there is no 1.16.1, this says 1.14, what? No, it doesn't, or it does, but that doesn't mean that there's not a 1.16 version, specifically a 1.16.1 version of Optifine. What you want to do is click on Preview Versions here, and then you'll see Optifine 1.16.1, right? So click on this little Preview Versions link, and then you'll see Optifine 1.16.1, and then come over and click that Mirror button. 
That will then take us off, right, to this download page where you want to find where it says download Optifine 1.16.1. Right there it does. As you can see, download preview Optifine, same thing. Go ahead and click on that download link there. And in the bottom left, it will go ahead and start downloading. Now, as I said, you'll need to keep this file. Why? Because it's a jar file, right? But as long as it says Optifine in the title, which ours does, it's safe to keep. On Mozilla Firefox, you could save it in the center of your screen as long as it says Optifine in the title. Now, one more thing I want to say here is if it says Minecraft 1.16.1 here, or even down the page away. So if it says down here, Minecraft 1.16.1, don't download from preview versions. Those issues I was talking about that some of those shaders packs may have will still be there if you download from preview versions. But if you have Minecraft 1.16.1 here, you just want to come under it and click on the mirror download across the top version, right? That's what you want to do. So instead of clicking on preview versions, if it says Minecraft 1.16.1 here, come under the first one, click on mirror, click on the blue download link, and then you'll be good to go. However, because Optifine just came out right as this video is being made, we have to click on preview versions, come to Optifine, and then click on mirror there. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have the SUS Renewed Shaders Pack. I accidentally downloaded it twice, but we have the SUS Renewed Shaders Pack here, and we have Optifine. We're going to start off by installing Optifine, because you need Optifine in order to run shaders. I'll grab this temporary download file. You won't have that. However, if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. It's either going to be in the top of your screen like mine or the bottom of your screen. Top or bottom, right? Top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon and then go ahead and type in downloads. Then you have the downloads file folder here. Click on that and in here you will have Optifine and the shaders pack you downloaded. All of them are installed the same way, but they do need to be on your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and start off with Optifine. So right click on Optifine, click on Open With, and click on Java. But Nick, I don't have Java, or this doesn't even look like this logo. This Optifine file you have looks completely different from mine, and I don't know what to do about it. Well, I have a solution. So if you don't have Java here, if you do, go ahead and click OK and give a head 15 or 20 seconds in the tutorial. However, if you don't have Java here, or if your file just looks different, it doesn't look like this Java coffee cup logo, but instead looks like a WinRAR file or a zip file or something like that, it doesn't look like a Java file like this, or even just a blank piece of paper, right? If that's what it looks like. If that's the case, we need to fix that. So to do that, go to the description down below and go here. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Well, Shaders is a modification of Minecraft, so you need to make sure you have Java installed on your computer. And specifically, Optifine requires you to have Java installed on your computer. This is going to make sure you get the correct version of Java for Optifine. It's going to, uh, you know, it's helped 1.4 million people get the correct version of Java. So come here, go to this tutorial, and then most people will be good. However, if you download this, and for whatever reason, it still says that it's a WinRAR file, or that it's a zip file, or that it's a link to 7-zip, or something like that. It doesn't show that Java logo. What you can do is use this, and this is the jar fix. This is going to basically take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java once again, kind of linking them up and making them work together, right? So that is what this is going to do, and it's a very powerful program that we 100% recommend if you're still having issues after you install Java. Finally, though, we can right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up this, the Optifine installer, where all you have to do is click on that Install button. Now, at this point, the only reason it's going to fail is if you've never played a Minecraft 1.16.1 before. So if you that's the case, if it fails here, go play Minecraft 1.16.1, come back, click that Install button, and you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and click OK. Now we open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, we should have down here in the bottom left this Optifine profile. If you don't, click on that little drop down box there and find the Optifine profile on here. However, if you still don't have an Optifine profile, or if you do, and it doesn't say 1.16.1 Optifine under it, here's what you do. You click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft, click on that plus new button there, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft 1.16.1 server. We've got Grief Protected Survival with Medieval Survival having 30 custom quests and a player-based economy. Aquatic Survival having an awesome slash shop-based economy. And then we have Custom Skyblock with OP enchantments, fence generators, and 1.8 PvP. And then we have 1.8 Factions. Yes, Custom Factions. Season 2 just started. You will absolutely love it. It's small, 10-player, team-based factions. So 10 players per team. We encourage raiding, encourage PvP. It's amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. And I can't wait to see you online. Nevertheless, once you've got your name entered there, we're going to click on this version drop down here. So as it says, release, release for us, we're going to click on this drop down. Now in here, you want to find at least 1.16.1 Optifine. Here it is for me. You may have to scroll down a bit to find it for you. In some rare cases, it's at the very, very, very bottom. So go down there if you have to. But 
go ahead and as you can see it released 1.16.1 optifine find that and click on it now for our resolution you can leave that the same but i'm going to change that to 1920 by 1080 just so we can see again change that to whatever you want it does not matter but that's something i have to change because we're doing a video here Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click the green create button in the bottom right. And then down here at the bottom, we have play.breakdowncraft.com. And then under that, it does say 1.16.1 Optifine. As long as it says 1.16.1 Optifine, we click on that green play button that appears over to the right. And now it's time to get the shader installed. The hard part of getting shaders is done. You've got your shaders downloaded and you've got your Optifine set up and installed. And you made sure you can launch it, even if you didn't get that Optifine profile for whatever reason. Sometimes that happens. You don't get that Optifine profile. I showed you how to set one up and we're good to go. So now we can install shaders. From this point, it's very simple and very, very easy. As you can see, we're on the Minecraft main menu here. All you want to do is click on options, right like so. And then you want to click on video settings. Now, in some cases, you won't be able to click on this shaders link here. Usually, that's because if you come over to performance and turn on, I believe it's fast render and fast math, and then try to click on shaders, it's going to tell you you need to turn that off, fast render specifically. So if you come over here, turn off fast renders and fast math, we'll be able to click done, and then go ahead and click on shaders here. So as you can see, we're now in shaders. So click on that shaders button, and again, we went from options, to video settings to then the shaders button here and then all you need to do to install shaders in minecraft 1.16.1 is click on that shaders folder button in the bottom left yep, just click on that shaders folder button down here in the bottom left and then when you click on that it's going to open up your shaders packs folder as you can see it's the shaders packs folder now take the shaders packs you're installing whether it's just one like seuss or whether it's 25 every shaders pack in existence take and drag and drop it into this shaders packs folder now something happened in the background there and automatically Seuss was detected. As you can see, there it is, Seuss renewed. It's actually already, was already selected there. Now, for you, that might not be the case, right? You might have to restart Minecraft to have your shaders pack appear, but for us, it appeared automatically. Most will appear automatically. Now to install your shaders pack, just click on the Seuss Renewed button there, not button, but where it says Seuss Renewed. Just click on that, Minecraft will reload, and then guess what? Your shaders pack is installed. Now, I want to go ahead and show you some other options that shaders have because they can solve a lot of the bugs or issues you may be having. Over here on the right-hand side, there's a bunch of different shaders options. If you want to increase your shaders quality, you can do that, right? But you're going to be sacrificing performance and speed when you do, so be careful. All of these, or most of them at least, will have some sort of explanation, by the way, if you hover over them. But don't forget about this little button in the bottom right, this shaders options button. When you click on that, you're going to have a lot more options when it comes to shaders. And a lot of times, the bugs and issues that you'll find in these beta versions can be fixed by turning off and on settings in here. For example, sometimes, you know, you'll not have different issues with, like, parallax settings or things like that. Or the text resolution might be able to be turned off. Or water may be, you know, blacked out and look really like weird you can go ahead and turn off the water parallax a lot of times that'll fix it now every shaders pack is going to have different options in here so don't expect yours to be exactly like this but don't be afraid to click around either because if you do have any issues you can just click on the reset button there and it will reset everything back to default but nonetheless click on done on shaders options click on done here kind of in the center of minecraft click on done again click on done again and then finally we're back to the minecraft main menu where we can jump on the best minecraft server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com to test out our shaders in 1.16.1 so as you can see up here on the left we have 1.16.1 minecraft and as you can see it is absolutely beautiful i will go ahead and turn off chat real quick i've got my chat turned up very very high there but nevertheless as you can see absolutely stunning we're currently in our medieval asgard world as you can see, we've got a little house over here, for example. Just, I mean, look at that. Look at that, like, how, how that transition happens. I love this. Awesome shaders pack. But, again, every shaders pack is going to be different. So, while this one looks like this, another shaders pack will look completely different. But this is Seuss Reloaded, or Seuss Renewed. I forget which one it is. Shaders pack, which is on our list, linked in the description down below of top five shaders packs. As you can see, the water even looks really, really good. And I was impressed with how bug-free this one was. Pretty much every other uh, shaders pack I tried currently has some sort of bug. Whether the sky is all black, whether water is all, like I said, blacked out there. Um, these are just textures not loading and not rendering properly with the shaders pack. But that wasn't really the case with this one. So that's one I, why I wanted to showcase this one in this video. As soon as those shaders packs are updated, you will be able to install them without any issues. And really and truly, we're waiting on Optifine here. Once Optifine is updated, those shaders packs will change change. We'll also add in 1.16.1 shaders packs as they appear, but most of them are still unfinished. We only like to have finished shaders packs installed. I'm going to go ahead and showcase our spawn real quick and check that out. I have to turn chat back on. So let's go ahead and do slash spawn right like so, and then go into options and turn that chat back off. 
And there we go. So now we can see here, this is our Breakdown Craft Medieval spawn here. Medieval Asgard is the one we're on. There's also Medieval Northvale. The spawns are very similar, but nevertheless, we do have incredible, as you can see, views there. Now, I do think the interior with this shader stack is a little too dark for me, but it's not the darkest I've seen, and it, it works out pretty well. It's a bit of a yellow tint, but not the worst ever either. So overall, pretty good shaders pack. We've got light. Look at that light coming in and actually moving with the sun. It's actually about to disappear. That's amazing! That's incredible. But nevertheless, there you all have it. And that is how you can download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.16.1. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your shaders pack. Come play with us here on play.breakdowncraft.com. We've got some incredible servers. But nevertheless, my name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.